Today we're going to go to the Philippines and we're going to have a party. We're going to show you how to make traditional Filipino food that they use for parties, get-togethers, family gatherings. So why don't you stay with us and you'll learn from an expert how to do it. Hello friends and welcome to another program of I'm your host Jill Morricone and we have an exciting program of Filipino food planned for you today. I know I'm excited to learn how to make it. But first I want to introduce you to our special guests here with me in the kitchen. My special friends too, they actually go to our church here. Um, their names are Ressa and Ozzy Oswald. Welcome you guys, so Thank glad you. to have you, you both you. here. Thank Happy you. to be here. Now tell us, you moved here down from Chicago a few years ago? About three years ago. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. and you live near here. Not too far from here, right? Yeah, very Mary. close. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're originally from the Philippines. Yes. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in the States? When did you come? I was 18 when I came here, so it was like 1982. Okay, okay. So, so, yeah. so you've been here quite a few years. Quite a few years, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Ozzy saw this beautiful lady and said, <laughs> I need to marry her. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> That's right, that's right. Now you both have a real ministry. I mean, they have a tremendous ministry of hospitality opening your home. Mm -hmm. Since you've been down here, tell us how many people come to your home and what you do. Well, we kind of quit counting after we hit 600. Ooh, uh, okay. <laughs> he keeps counting, so. Yes, that's amazing. But uh, we've, we meet people in church and we meet mm -hmm. people outside of church and mm -hmm. from uh, work and that, and uh, we just love to have people over and. It's our way of sharing uh, with the Lord. Amen. That's right. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. It's yes. mentioned in the Bible as one of the gifts, right, that yes. God can give to us. And mm -hmm. they definitely have the gift of hospitality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And you cook. When we went to your house, my husband and I, we had Filipino food. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really good. Yeah. Yes. It was. So today we're going to make Filipino party food. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because when you are uh, every... Filipino parties, mm -hmm. gathering, we always have pancit. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is a staple or tradition yes. in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Now let's read the recipe here for our Filipino pancit. For the veggie pancit noodles, you need three garlic cloves that have been chopped, one onion sliced, one tablespoon olive oil, eight ounces of rice stick noodles, that's pancit bihon, one pound extra firm tofu drained, that's optional. One half pound green beans sliced diagonally. One cup mushrooms. Two carrots sliced diagonally. One cup cauliflower sliced. One cup broccoli sliced. One quarter cup unfermented soy sauce. Three green onions chopped. Two tablespoons unfermented soy sauce one half teaspoon garlic powder, and one half teaspoon onion powder. Now, when, as we get going here, tell me first of all what this pancit bihon is. Oh, uh, it's like um, rice steak, white rice steak. Okay, uh -huh. we and, have uh, some here. Yes, and you'll find this mostly in an oriental store. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of pa type of pancit. There's like yellow, and oh. this is bihon is really the white rice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is, yeah. the, is the yellow, is that a rice or is that made with no, a different? It's, yes, and it's, uh, we, you call it Nikki. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So with, when you say bihon, this is the white uh, the, noodles. The white noodles. Uh -huh. And that's what we want for our yes. pants. Yes, okay. exactly. Good, mm -hmm. good. Okay, now what do we do here? Okay, first we uh, soak the uh, pants, the rice noodles, okay. for 30 minutes to soak it. And when it's soft, then we just drain it. And then. Uh, so you don't have to cook it in boiling water? No, you can just okay. uh, put it in warm water, soak okay. it there. Yes. Just in warm water for yeah. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. We're learning from a professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> okay. And we have uh, tofu. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to show you and how to make that uh, thin slice of tofu. And then we'll just fry it. 
Because oh, a lot of uh, people will ask me, so how can you make it so thin? Yes. Well, so we'll just show you how to, to do this like yeah, this. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. Now, this is just the regular water pack tofu you could buy in the grocery store or something, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is well drained. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Very so, nice. And then we'll just put this ready on this uh, skillet here. Now, the nice thing about this is uh, I like this skillet because you don't have to use a lot of oil. Uh -huh. I will just uh, spray this. And some people really fry it. With this, yes. you don't use a lot of oil. You don't have to. Right. Where can our, because I've never seen one of these. This is pretty fancy. What do you call it, this little skillet? Is it just called a skillet? Or? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a cast iron skillet. And, okay. uh, we got it from a, a camping supplier. Oh, that's it's, fun. Uh, okay. One side's, uh, one side's real flat for pancakes and stuff. And uh -huh. the other side's like grated, so if you want to make like sandwiches or meat or something like that. Okay, yeah, okay. So it's versatile. You can use Very. it for a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just cook this like for like three minutes or when it's uh, golden. Okay. Turn, okay. turn it up mm -hmm. and uh, do the other sides and yeah. that's how we do it. Yeah, now mm -hmm. do we put any seasonings with it or do we just cook yes, it Yes, uh, after we fry this like this and then we uh, soak this in uh, soy sauce with mm -hmm. garlic uh, powder and onion Ooh. powder. Soak it for like maybe uh, five minutes just to season it. Okay, mm -hmm. just to season. So you yes. fry it first, then you take it out and you set it like in a, a flat dish with the seasonings? Or, or just a bowl. Just, just, a just bowl. in a bowl. Oh, a bowl. Uh -huh. okay. So the uh, soy sauce will, yeah. you know, will soak it really That's good. Right. Mm -hmm. That's this right. This is what it'll look like. And how so. this is what it'll look like. Ah, let's mm -hmm. set it down then they can get a shot here. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that? Look at that. Yeah. I would just uh, cut it lengthwise so it will yes. be like a uh, strip. I like mm -hmm. that. Isn't that cute? It looks yes. professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, tofu is really soft in that so by the cooking it it gives it a little more texture. Okay, so you need that, um, right? Try this. Okay, good. Wait. Now we'll pretend this is television time. Pretend yeah. we flipped it and we um, we soaked it and did all that. And now mm -hmm. let's take that off and let's um, okay. do fry the uh, frying. Yes. Okay, that mm -hmm. sounds good. <laughs> Ozzy's doing the honors today. <laughs> That's right. Now you like to cook it with a wok. You're yes, I love this wok because okay. it's uh, it has it's big and yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that is nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. So first we uh, make this hot. Okay. And then we'll put the uh, oil. Okay. Now what type of oil were we using? I'm we usually uh, use olive oil. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, is that what they use in the Philippines, or that's what you're using as a healthier version? Oh, a healthier version, <laughs> yes. Uh, we don't have much really olive, uh, olive oil in the Philippines. Oh. They usually like vegetable oil. Okay. Yes. But okay. for healthy reason, yeah, the yes. best is uh, olive oil. Absolutely. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Okay. So we'll put the garlic. All right. It's hot now. Now, this is garlic you could buy in a jar or something. Is that well, right? Well, actually, this was a whole garlic. And we just we, uh, we chop them up ourselves, put them in a jar, and mm -hmm. put some olive oil in it to keep it fresh, and it yes. lasts a lot it's longer. It lasts longer. Oh. You just mix it with olive oil and put it in the fridge. That saves a lot of time. And Instead money. of saying, I need garlic, and then I have to peel, and I have to chop, so exactly. you do it ahead of time. Yes. Uh -huh. It saves a lot of money, too. Right. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. That's exciting. Very yes. nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put the uh, onions Good. in. Good. Hold this, you right. I'm sorry. No, I'm just getting these out of your way, then you don't have so much stuff there. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll nice. just uh, saute this for like one minute. Okay. Just to brown it. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now you get to eat this kind of food all the time, Ozzy. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> You're pretty blessed. That's right. <laughs> That's very nice. Okay, and then we'll put the uh, beans. Okay. We put the beans first because the beans takes a little longer. It does. Mm -hmm. You're right. They take longer to cook, don't they? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and yeah, I can smell the garlic. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put the carrots. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, how did you chop those carrots a little like that? Oh, I just uh, slice it diagonally okay. and then also make uh, cut into strips. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Did you cut them, like if you have the carrot this way, did you cut them that way, diagonally, it's, like that? Yes. Oh, uh -huh. okay. That's yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Good. It's gonna like slanting. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a little slanted. Yeah, mm -hmm. that takes a lot of work cutting carrots like that. Yes, and that's the thing with pansy, <laughs> cooking pansy. It takes a lot of, a lot you know, of the chopping. Oh. But the cooking itself, it. So when I make pansy, I take uh, ahead of time. I chop all the vegetables mm -hmm. in the evening, and then I cook. Uh, when I need, uh, in the following morning. Oh, that you know? makes sense. Yeah. So that it takes, takes a lot of yeah. time. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. That's why it's a party food. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> you can't afford to do this every day. You don't have the time. Yeah. That was the broccoli. Mm hmm Okay. And then we'll and add the uh, cauliflower. There you go. There we go. Oh, very nice. And at home, I always use two. Yeah, well, show <laughs> us how you do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because yeah. you can mix it real good. Uh -huh. So if it is just one side, you don't get the yeah. whole thing. So with this, it's mixed really, yes. really good. Mm -hmm. And I would think it keeps it from burning too if you're constantly stirring, mm -hmm. instead right. of just letting it sit there and burn on the bottom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Ozzy, you it always help. Good. You always help cook at home. That's my job. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, because it's your ministry together to do that together. Yes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and it was a gift. I think God gave us a gift mm -hmm. of cooking, and at the same time, you know, we share the uh, the food that we always cook, and that's yes. our ministry, that's you know, right. the hospitality. Absolutely, mm -hmm. that's right. It's a wonderful ministry. Yes. I believe God's called everybody to a different ministry. God's given us each a different ministry, but that's wonderful because you can witness to people about the gospel mm -hmm. using that. Exactly. Yeah. Like on every Sabbath, we have always company at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really, nice. almost every Sabbath. Yeah. Over. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Okay. So we cook this for uh, five minutes. Okay. All the vegetable. We'll pretend five minutes is done. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, <laughs> but normally you would do five. Okay. Yes. And then we uh, put the mushroom because okay. mushroom it will be the last one to add because it you don't okay. want to wilt it too much. You don't want to overcook it. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Oh, doesn't that look good? I can't wait to eat. <laughs> it's making me hungry. <laughs> Very nice. And then we add the uh, onion powder. Okay. And garlic powder. Good. Can I mix it all together? Yeah. Uh, so we're not really adding any salt. Oh, we have the. Um, the unfermented soy sauce? Yes, the soy sauce. That itself. gives you your salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And then some people, they kind of like. Um, it's salty, so they can just add salt if they want to. Okay. Yeah, just like mm -hmm. their own taste. Yeah. And then uh, we can add the, the noodles. You want the noodles? Soup. Yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So you just mix Ooh. all together. Make sure everything is all mixed. Doesn't that look good, Ressa? Oh. Mm. Smells yeah. great, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it smells good. I wish they invented that in TV that you could smell. You know what, what you're cooking? What smell a vision, that's a good <laughs> name. <laughs> that's right. Oh that looks good. Very now can you make this ahead of time, Ressa, or you have to serve it right away? No. It can be really uh re refrigerated. Okay. And then you can just warm it up, you know, oh, whenever okay. you need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now we can also add now the, uh, the tofu. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now since you cook these ahead of time, they won't fall apart. Is that no, right? That's no. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Doesn't that look good? Very nice. So whenever we have party, when we have yeah. pass it, we're happy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy too. <laughs> that's right. And oh. usually pass it, we always have egg rolls too. Yes, yes. and we're going to make egg rolls next. That's our next recipe, mm -hmm. so I'm real excited to learn how to make that too. Yeah, very nice. Now what do we do with the green onions here? Okay, the green onions, we uh, just kind of use this for garnish. Okay, yes. mm -hmm. so w at the end of the program, we'll have this in a pretty dish with the green onions on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll get to show our friends what it looks like. Good. Very nice. Looks good. Oh, doesn't that mm -hmm. look good? Perfect. Let's read our recipe for those egg rolls now. For the vegetable egg rolls, you need one package of frozen spring roll wrappers, two carrots diced, one small sweet potato diced, one large potato diced, one onion diced, one half pound green beans roundly sliced, one half cup frozen green peas, one half cup frozen lima or soybeans, one tablespoon garlic minced, 
two tablespoons unfermented soy sauce, one tablespoon olive oil, one half teaspoon salt, and one half teaspoon pepper-like seasoning. Okay, I'm real excited about this, learning how to make egg rolls. That's yes. nice. Now, people make egg rolls Koreans, and what's the difference between all different the different? Different way. Uh, in Filipino, it's the wrapper. It's softer because in Chinese, they have the uh, hard one and what's okay. in the inside. Okay. You know? okay. And in here, we'll just be making all uh, vegetable and mm. uh, no cabbage because okay. I like, ha, most of the egg rolls has cabbage. A Filipino mm -hmm. egg rolls have cabbage or? No. 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 Okay, that's uh -huh. the, the main difference. One of right. the differences. Uh -huh. that and the yes. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Show us what we do here. So first we're going to uh, saute all the vegetable. Okay. And our patty is already warm. Good. Oh. Okay, it's and then good and we'll warm. The, yes. <laughs> okay, and then we'll just put the garlic. Good. So that's that special garlic that you guys yes. make. Good. Mm -hmm. Put the onion. Good. Put the uh, green bean. And then the carrots. Now, was that green beans? Green beans. Okay. Uh -huh. Green beans and the carrots. And we always put the carrots and green beans first because they uh, cook longer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you cut them different than the pants, because that was long and skinny. Yes. Yes. And uh, so it's round, so it will. Uh, when you roll it, mm -hmm. it's all in... Uh, you don't want it falling out. Exactly, okay. exactly. And that's the main difference, too, I think, in Chinese, because uh, some are uh, cut diagonally or lengthwise. They are, because yes. I've had them, and they kind of stick out, and you try yes. to eat, and they're covered uh -huh. out. Yeah. And this way, it's easier to eat. Okay, yes. good. Mm -hmm. And this is... Uh, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, and the regular uh, potatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you, I thought it was two sets of carrots, but it's not. It's the sweet yeah. potato in the white. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, have you already cooked those or is that raw? No, those are raw, but we just, uh, since we made it ahead of time, we just soak it so it will not turn brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we put the, uh, for this we put, uh, we use the soybeans, but you can either use mm -hmm. lima beans or okay. soybeans. Because okay. yeah. wherever is uh, available. Yes. I like yeah. those soybeans. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just put everything in together type of thing? Or would yes. you put the onions and garlic and wait a while? or how Wait a while, about well, two minutes. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, after that, we put all You don't want to really burn the, the onions. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. It's really hot. So we cook this for like uh, five minutes, and then the green cheese, we put it last since it's, uh, this is frozen, so right. it's, Right. Easier to cook. It, and it doesn't mm -hmm. take much time. Exactly. Like and, uh -huh. yeah. and in some uh, places, they have the fresh uh, peas, green peas, okay. so you can use that too. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. If you have a garden, you could just like pick them from your garden and exactly. put them in. That would be wonderful. Exactly. I would like that. And then we just add all these uh, seasonings here. Okay. We got the soy sauce, Good. unfermented soy sauce. Now, where can our friends get unfermented soy sauce? In all uh, health food store. Mm -hmm. Actually, health this food is store. powder. Soy sauce, oh, and we just add water neat. to it so okay. it lasts longer. It's mm -hmm. cheaper, more economical. Yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then we add the, uh, and that one is the uh, veggie uh, black you pepper. Need a spoon? Yes, I think that's kind of. Okay. This so that was the veggie what? Uh, veggie uh, pepper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Black pepper. They have the uh, uh, veggie like. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Veggie. Okay. Uh, so it's not like. harmful for you. Like exactly. The other type. It's not irritating. The other kind we use, if we don't have this, is we use the um, uh, papaya seeds and grind dried the papaya seeds, grind them up, mm -hmm. and then use it like pepper. It's got the flavor, but it's not an irritant. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Now, do you buy the papayas and? Yeah, we well, just we love papaya too. Okay. Yeah. So then you would just get to the Take seeds. The seeds. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I got family in Florida, and they have uh, papayas in their backyard. That's so every, perfect. <laughs> every time they visit us, they bring a lot of uh, papayas, and yeah. we just take the seeds out, and yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Out. Yes. Yeah, and then, and then you can substitute that for the black pepper. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's yes. a good idea. Mm -hmm. I really learned some. Yes. I did not know you can do that. And so we have the one that's already yeah. made here. Okay. So we'll just show oh, you how good. to roll this on the... Uh, so how long roll. would you uh, fry it there? before it gets to this, what, what it looks like minutes? this. When everything is ready, yeah, it's about like about 30 minutes, minutes, yeah. Okay. When everything is uh, cooking. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So we just uh, roll this here. Now, what is this wrapper here you're using? This is uh, the egg roll wrapper, and okay. most of this has egg uh, uh, ingredients, uh -huh. but this one doesn't have uh, egg in it. So oh. you just kind of like made, read the ingredients, okay. you know. You have mm -hmm. to read and see. Exactly, yeah. and they do have different types of uh, wrapper. Some yes. is like hard, yeah. but this is the one that's really soft. Okay, good. And to close this, we have the uh, cornstarch and water. Yes. And just gonna like mix this. Okay. She washed her hands. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know she did. <laughs> good. And just gonna. Oh, nice. Wet to keep this it at so the it end. Holds yeah. Together. So it will not. Yes, it will not open up when mm -hmm. you fry. Mm -hmm. So we'll put it there. And do uh, uh, this is it's hot. hot. Yep. Then you can put that there already, and uh, okay. you can fry it. Very nice. You just have the oil that's hot. You can exactly. Oh, it is hot. Yeah. It is hot. I can hear that. Mm -hmm. How long does it sit in the oil for? It's just uh, tur keep it turning. Just it's like one minute. Yeah. Oh, it's real it. fast. Yes, then. it's okay. real fast. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that cute? Very nice. And you can uh, also make this ahead of time. Okay. I, I make this ahead of time and put it in the freezer. And when you're ready mm -hmm. to, to cook it, mm -hmm. you can just uh, uh, fry it. Uh -huh. Yes. So, okay. So whenever I have tarty, I'll, I will make ahead of time, put it in yes. the freezer. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, so you don't you don't fry it at all. It's just like it's sitting right here. Exactly. And then you just stick it in the freezer. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't change the consistency. No. No. Isn't not really. that amazing? Yeah. yeah. So. Wow. Because uh, it takes time to to make this. So when you have like like I said, when we have party and yes. it takes a lot of time, mm -hmm. I make it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, very nice. Oh, yeah, I can see it takes time. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot of time, all and, that uh, rolling and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Very it's very nice. time consuming. But so, it's worth it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And like mm -hmm. I said, this is uh, always goes you with. Want to set uh, it here? Oh, you a paper towel. Paper okay. towel. I'll get you a paper towel. Sorry, Ressa. Oh, that's all right. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, I, and. Uh, oh, doesn't that look how it nice? Looks nice. Yes. I like it. It's very, supposed, very nice. Yeah, and stick and those into it. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, for our friends, if they didn't want to fry it in the oil, say they were being really careful about their diet or they had issues there, could you put it in the oven or, or not? Well, I was just experimenting about that the other day. How okay. can we uh, do this in uh, alternative of frying? Yes. So when you do that, you can just uh, put uh, in a pot okay. a little bit of oil and just kind of like uh, kind of steam it or just keep turning. Oh. You know, okay. or in, in a very little water uh -huh. and cover it, and just when you put the hot water, it will steam out. Yeah, so it will really, oh. yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And like the, the um, skillet that I use, that's uh -huh. what I use too. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. that skillet that we use for the tofu for the pants? Yes, that's what I use too. So it's very just grease the, the skillet, and so you won't be using a lot of oil. Yes. yes. That's, mm -hmm. that's nice. Yes. Yeah. Because if you don't want to get all that oil and you're trying to be really careful or something with your diet, yes. you know, mm -hmm. it's nice to have an alternative. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. So they don't take long in the oil, just a little bit, and then they yeah. come out. Oh, we bit. have already the one that's made up, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll get to see that, too. I can't mm -hmm. wait. <laughs> and then we'll get to eat it. I'm ready yes. for that, too. Yes. Oh, that looks nice. So it's very, all done. And yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, we didn't have the egg rolls when we went to your house, but we had the pants, and that was delicious. Yes. You're going to love these. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good. Very, very nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. So this is your traditional yes. Filipino. Mm -hmm. And like I said, whenever there's a pancit, there's always egg roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else traditional goes with it? Or oh, not? the dessert, like the cassava custard. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now yes, what's the, cassava? It's a, a yucca okay. root. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very yes. nice. So it's a... Always comes with that too. Uh -huh, very nice. And fruit salad. Fruit salad, yeah. Mm -hmm. fruit mm -hmm. salad. Your fruit salad's good too. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Well, in just a moment, friends, we will be back. We want to show you all the products that we made here today, and you can see our Filipino party. But first, we want to recap those recipes in case you didn't get them down fast enough. And we want to um, give you the way you can contact us so you can get a hold of Ressa and Ozzy for yourself. We hope you've enjoyed cooking with Raisa and Ozzy. Now let's take a moment to review their Filipino recipes. For the veggie pancit noodles, you will need three garlic cloves chopped, one onion sliced, one tablespoon olive oil, eight ounces of rice stick noodles, 
one pound extra firm tofu rinsed and drained, one half pound green beans, one cup of mushroom, two carrots sliced diagonally, one cup cauliflower sliced, one cup broccoli sliced, one half cup unfermented soy sauce, three green onions chopped, two tablespoons unfermented soy sauce, one half teaspoon garlic powder, and one half teaspoon of onion powder. For the veggie egg rolls you will need, one package frozen spring roll wrappers, two carrots diced, one small sweet potato diced, one large potato diced, one onion diced, one half pound green beans, one half cup frozen green peas, one half cup frozen lima or soybeans, one tablespoon garlic minced, two tablespoons unfermented soy sauce, one tablespoon olive oil, one half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon pepper-like seasoning. If you would like information on how to contact the Oswalds, or if you would like to receive today's recipe, please, please write to 3ABM, Postal Office Box 220, West Frankfort, Illinois, 62896, or call 1-800-752-3226. That number again is 1-800-752-3226. Now let's take a look at our finished recipes with Risa and Ozzy. Welcome back, friends. We're here with their delicious spread of Filipino party food, aren't we? Yes, we are. Ooh, I can't wait to eat. Let's look at what we made. We have pancit. Yes, mm -hmm. doesn't that look good with the green onions on top? Yes, very colorful. I like that. Mm -hmm. Good. And then we went to our egg rolls. Yes. The egg rolls, veggie egg rolls. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I can't wait to try them. <laughs> you should. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Those are very popular. That's right. And then we went to our fruit salad. Mm -hmm. Now we didn't demonstrate the fruit salad, but tell us what you put in it. If we, our friends at home wanted to make okay. one. Okay. Well, we get the fresh banana. Okay. And uh, apples. Okay. And also, if, when uh, fruits are not available, you can have a fruit cocktail. Oh. Can with a fruit different, cocktail. yes, oh, all yeah. different kind of fruits. Absolutely. Uh -huh. And then the uh, young coconut, which is makapunu. A young coconut? Mm hmm. Makapunu? Yes. Makapuno. Makapuno. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay, now where could our friends find that? In uh, mostly uh, Asian stores. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of shred that coconut? No, that's uh, in a jar. It's already uh, shredded like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is just dump, mm -hmm. dump it in. Yes. Oh, and nice. And we add uh, cream cheese, <gasps> the veggie Ooh, cream that cheese. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's yes. it? That's it. And then you just it together? Mm -hmm. And it's very good. And then you can just uh, cool it in the yeah. fridge for yeah. before serving, yeah. so it's cool. And oh, then yeah. it's ready. Very mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. I got to try an egg roll real fast. Yes. You want an egg roll too? Sure. Here you guys go. Thank you want you. one too, Ozzy? Sure. Thank you very much. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's very good. Mm hmm It's tasty. It's light. It's delicious. Mmm. I gotta try this at home. You guys gotta try this too. Yes. It was fun. Well, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Thank we you. We had such much. fun. Yeah, it was fun learning how to do all this food. We hope you had as much fun as we did making all this Filipino food. And until we see you next time, may God bless and keep you, and happy cooking.